Hi, boys and girls. Today we are going to read a book called Spiders by Gail Gibbons. Um, I wonder, do you think this book is fiction or nonfiction? And we'll talk about that again at the end. So, Spiders. Spiders may look scary, but most of them don't hurt people. There are about 30,000 different kinds of spiders. Spiders come in many shapes and sizes. Some are so tiny that they are no bigger than a speck of dust. Others can be as big as a dinner plate. Most spiders are brown, gray, or black. Some have bright colors. The first spider lived about 30 million years ago, even before dinosaurs roamed the earth. Spiders belong to a group of animals called arachnids. The word arachnid comes from an old Greek legend. Once there was a woman named Arachne who was angry when she lost a weaving contest against the goddess Athena. When Arachne died, Athena turned Arachne's body into a spider so she could weave forever. And that says arachnid, which means spider, and that's how you pronounce it, arachnid. Okay, now we're gonna look at a spider's body compared to an insect's body. So, a spider's body has two parts, the abdomen and the cephalothorax. The cephalothorax means head, chest. So we have the abdomen. Here's the cephalothorax. And most spiders have eight eyes. Some spiders spin silk with tiny organs called spinnerlets. And a spider has eight legs, same amount of legs as eyes. And then a spider has pedipals, pedipalps to feel and to squeeze body juices from its prey. Wow. Spiders are not insects. And then over here we have the insect body. Most insects have two big eyes, often with three smaller eyes between them. Here's his head and all the eyes. Um, many insects have wings. And then this part of the insect body is called the thorax, and this is called the abdomen. And then they also have antenna. An insect's antenna is for touch and smell. An insect has six legs. An insect's body has three parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Their bodies are different from Spiders' bodies are different from insects in many ways. Can you find one way that a spider's body is different from an insect? There's quite a few. A male spider is smaller than a female spider. When a male spider finds a mate, he must be careful. If the female spider is hungry, she might eat him. Some male spiders do a dance or bring an insect to attract a female. Okay, so over here we have, there's an egg sac and these are spiderlings. Let's see what it says about them. A mother spider lays her eggs and encloses them in a strong silk egg sac. Some spiders lay a few eggs, others lay thousands. After a number of weeks, the baby spiders creep out of the silk sac. Spider babies are called spiderlings. Okay, so most, most spider mothers don't stay with their babies. Some spiderlings care for themselves as soon as they are born. They run up to the highest place that they can find. The spiderlings spin out long streamers of silk. A breeze lifts them and carries them to their new homes. This way of traveling is called ballooning. Okay, so over here you can see the spiders, the spiderlings with their streamers, and then they're jumping down and that's called ballooning. Okay, as a spiderling grows, its hard outer skin called an exoskeleton becomes tight. The skin cracks open along its back. The spider sheds it by climbing out. 
This is called molting. Most spiders molt five to 10 times. And you can see him shedding his exoskeleton. He's molting. Some spiders are web weavers. They spin webs to catch their food. There are spiders that are web. There are spiders that weave tangled webs. <laughs> the spider spins a tangled mass of silk. When an insect is trapped, the spider runs out to get it. Other spiders weave sheet webs. The spider hangs upside down underneath the web. When an insect hits the sheet web, the spider quickly pulls it through the webbing. Okay, and there's even a different kind of web. Some spiders create funnel webs too. The top is big and the bottom is small. The web is held in place by lines of silk. The spider sits at the bottom and waits for an insect to fly or walk in. Ooh, tricky guy. Okay, and then some spiders spin triangle webs. A triangle web is fastened at three points. The web's bands of dry and sticky silk trap insects. It's a triangle web. Okay, so now they're going to tell us how the spider spins the web. First, the spider spins a few lines of silk to hold up the web. Then it adds lines of silk that look like the spokes of a wheel. Around and around the spider goes, adding a sticky coil to the spokes. Next, the spider waits for its meal in the center of the web, or it waits nearby. And it says, the orb weaving, orb weaving spider spins a pattern of many circles. I like that one. I think it's pretty. Okay. When an insect lands on the web, the web shakes. Instantly, the spider pounces. It wraps the insect in silk. Then it stuns the insect with its poisonous fangs. So here we have the orb web, and that's a garden spider. And it says, if the spider is hungry, it eats the insect right away. If not, it waits until later. And then down here it says, the most beautiful spider web of all is the orb web. I agree. Let's see what else we have here. Not, not all spiders use, use webs for catching food. Some hide in burrows or beneath rocks and stones. When the spider sees an insect, it quickly runs out and grabs it. And here we have the wolf spider. And then a water spider? One unusual kind of spider lives underwater. It weaves a bell-shaped web, then it fills the web with tiny bubbles. The spider stays there, breathing the air from the bubbles, and waits to catch water insects. Interesting. Another type of spider digs a tunnel and, li and lines it with silk. To protect itself, it makes a hinge trap door from dirt and silk to cover the tunnel. When the spider is hungry, it opens the door a bit. If an insect comes close, the spider scurries out to catch it. It's got his little trap door right there. Now we have the crab spider. Some spiders hide on, some spiders hide on or inside flowers. If you look closely at that flower, you can see a spider hiding there. One spider even changes color from yellow to white to match the color of the flower. When an insect lands, the spider snatches it. Ooh, yummy dinner coming there. Spiders have enemies. Some insects, like spider wasps, hunt and eat spiders. Toads, frogs, and some birds like to eat spiders too. Most spiders live for about one year. Some live much longer. Female tarantulas sometimes live to be 25 years old. Wow. 
Okay. Many people don't like spiders because they are afraid of them, but spiders help us. They play an important role by eating many insects that are harmful to crops and people. Spiders can be interesting to watch. Scientists are still discovering new kinds of spiders and learning more about them. Ooh, and these are just some fun spider facts back here. I am going to read a couple to you. Let's see. A person who is terrified of spiders has arachnophobia. That means they're super, super scared of spiders. And let's see. What's a Spiders don't stick to their own webs because they, their feet are specially shaped and their bodies are covered with oil. So. Those are just a couple of interesting spider facts. I hope you like the spider book. Kidoke.